Welcome to The Weakest Twink. Our contestant today, first up, someone who managed to somehow be even later to this than I was, it's Corniche! <laughs> I had to genuinely call him on Snapchat to say, hi, where are you? And he was like, isn't it at 8? And I said, no, it's at 7. I miscalculated <laughs> with the time zones, sorry. But he made it here. Next up, someone who who certainly would never be a top model, and I think we could all tell why that is. It's Cindy! <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. And then finally, someone who's both from Sweden, that's the Sue, and from Brazil, that's the Zil, which means that he has two whole countries to disappoint when he loses today. It's Swezzle! Yay! Welcome. I'm sorry. In... <laughs> I'm sorry already. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Now, I, I know that you all feel very unconfident, and that's always the spirit to have going in. So I will <laughs> let you know that I did, as you know, we draw for order before it. None of you know this because I did it without telling any of you, but our order would today be, and of course it's backwards, Swezzle, Cindy, Corny. Because that's, right. that's what the dice said. Swezzle rolled a six, and that means he's up first. Now... Last... Even winning in dice. <laughs> Last chance. Any questions? If not, then no. we. <laughs> the... If not, then we will begin. I think we could. All right. Then that means first question goes to Swezzle. Swezzle, what difficulty yeah, would you like to answer? Let's start with a three. A three for Swezzle. We've got the new notebook and everything, because I filled the last one. Thanks, my new one. Swezzle. A mm -hmm. medicine that hastens the emptying of the bowels is called a what? <laughs> a laxative? That is the correct answer. <gasps> oh my god. Look at me. Were you, go that, were you going a different direction with that, Cindy? <laughs> Oh, no, I, I was like, I'm going to need you to like <laughs> spell this out for me. I don't understand what you're asking. All right. Well, Swezzle is off the board. Three points already. And really getting your first points is always the, the biggest hurdle. Thank the Lord. Cindy, we come to you next. What difficulty would you like for your first question? Give me a three as well, please. A three. All right. Cindy, Raiden, Sindel, and Katana are all characters in what video game franchise? Mortal Kombat. That is the correct answer. Yeah. Yes, I have points. There you go. <laughs> Cindy and Swezzle, both with three. Courtney, the pressure's on now. What difficulty would you like for your first question? Let's go with a three, two. All right. Courtney, in Japanese, what does sayonara mean? Uh, happy birthday. It does not mean happy birthday. Swezzle, we come to you next. In Japanese, what does sayonara mean? Doesn't it mean goodbye? Goodbye is the correct answer. In an I ironic turn of events, I was once eliminated from a spelling bee on the word sayonara. Doesn't sayonara mean the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> in yeah, English? That's why it was ironic. <laughs> All right. We're one question in. Swezzle has six, Cindy has three, and Corny will be off the board soon. Or off the block. As off the board means he's going to get eliminated. <laughs> maybe maybe a Freudian slip there. Swezzle, what difficulty would you like now for your second question? Um, Let's do a four. A four for Swezzle. Swezzle, what Irish band announced in 2019 that they would be disbanding following the 2018 death of lead singer Dolores O'Riordan? And if I pronounce that last name wrong, sue me. Irish bands? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm going to guess, like, U2? 
It is not U2. Cindy, what Irish band announced in 2019 that they would be disbanding following the 2018 death of lead singer Dolores O'Riordan? Daft Punk. It is not Daft Punk. Courtney, finally, we come to you. What Irish band announced in 2019 that they would be disbanding following the 2018 death of lead singer Dolores O'Riordan? All I, all I can think of is Linkin Park, but I don't think it's right. That is not correct. In in perhaps something that may not bode well for later on when Courtney's special subject is rock music, the correct answer is the cranberries. Cranberries. The cranberries. Who knew? Not us. Not us. I, I, <laughs> me, I knew. I knew, but that doesn't count for much. Cindy, we're up to you next for your second question. What would you like? Give me a five. A five for Cindy. Cindy, in food, horseradish sauce is traditionally served with which meat? How specific do I need to be with the meat? <laughs> I'll let you know. Also, horseradish is not a thing here, is it? <laughs> um, do you want the animal? No, I do not want the animal. I want the meat. Red meat. <laughs> I, 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 it, it would, it would have. I, I will give you another chance in that I will say that it has to be more specific than that. It is a specific thing. I have no idea. Is that a pass? Yes. Okay, corny. In food, horseradish sauce is traditionally served with which meat? I'm going to say foie gras. It is not foie gras. Swizzle, in food, horseradish sauce is traditionally served with which meat? Okay, but traditional to which country? Like general European? Yes, I add. <laughs> <laughs> I did my best um... to make them general or European <laughs> things, but some things I was just picking shit. Okay, don't sue me. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. Beef? Could you be more specific? How can you be more specific than beef? Um... <laughs> A part of, of the cow. Oh. Um... Well, what are those called in English? I have no clue. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what is that called? I have no clue. Okay. Well, this appears to maybe be one in my tally of questions that I probably shouldn't have asked because you guys would have no reason to know. The correct answer is roast beef. Oh. Okay. Well, listen, they're not all going to be winners, okay? <laughs> Courtney, we come to you next. What difficulty would you like? I got to catch up, so let's do a six. A six for Courtney. Courtney, what is the most recent film to have won the Academy Award for Best Picture? Nomadland. That is the correct answer. I got points. All right, and just like that, Swizzle and Corny tied with six, and Cindy trailing with three, but it's still very close, and there's still plenty of game to go. Swizzle, we're back to you now. What difficulty question would you like? Um, let's do a five. A five for Why Swizzle. Not? Swizzle. Okay, hold on. I have to be careful about the pronunciation of this. Swizzle, what is a somnambulist better known as? A what? A somnambulist. I can provide a spelling if you would like. Please do. S-O-M-N-A-M-B-U-L-I-S-T. A somnambulist. 
I have no idea. I've never heard the word before. Thank you, Fane. Courtney's giving shout outs so mid game. No, he, he spelled it out in chat. So I can read it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I still have no clue. I, so I'm going to pass on that one. Okay, Cindy, what is a somnambulist better known as? Eh. Uh... Somnambulist. Insomnia. Someone who has insomnia. That is incorrect, Corny. Finally, what is a somnambulist better known as? Uh, statisticus? It is not. Cindy was <laughs> on the right track when he, he started to break down the word somn. Of course, like insomnia meaning sleep. And Ambu is the root for movement or walking, so a somnambulist is Sleep someone walking. who sleepwalks. Mm. Oh. There you go. There's a little fun fact for you all. All right, Cindy, what difficulty would you like? Uh, give me a four. A four for Cindy. Cindy, in the Old Testament, the Ark of the Covenant was a wooden chest that contained what? Uh, like the stone tablets that Moses got? I'm not sure what the name of those are. <laughs> That's my guess! <laughs> Are you contemplating if you want to give it to me or not? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like the stone tablets with the... We would call it DT boot in Norwegian. With the 10, like... This is how you're... Okay, I will, I, will, I will accept that, Cindy. You, you, Thank you. You know it, you know it in, in Norwegian, and I decided Thank early you. on that if you guys got an answer... <laughs> From now on, I'm going to answer in Dutch. If, if you got an answer... <laughs> if, if you got an answer right in your own language, I decided I was going to count it, because otherwise it'd just be an asshole move. The correct answer is the Ten Commandments. There we go. Thank Commandment. you. I, I'll accept. I will accept that, Cindy. <laughs> the Ten Rules of Life. Courtney, we come to you next. What difficulty would you like? Let's do a five. A five for Courtney. Courtney, what was the cause of death of both Whitney Houston and her daughter, Bobby Christina Brown? I should know this. Uh, I'm going to say uh, overdose. That is not correct. Swezel, what was the cause of death of both Whitney Houston and her daughter, Bobby Christina Brown? Well, I was going to make the same guess as Corny. Um, so if it's not that... That's why it's uh, a five. Oh. Um... I have no idea. Well, I know it's not correct, but let's do car crash because that's something else. It was not. Cindy, what was the cause of death of both Whitney Houston and her daughter, Bobby Christina Brown? Uh, I also thought the same thing. Uh, alcohol poisoning. No, the correct answer is it was along the lines of an overdose, but they both... Um, they both passed out in the bathtub, leading to them drowning. Drowning is the correct answer. We are 0 for 3. But, but in... Didn't they pass out because of the overdose? <laughs> I don't. I think the cause of death is, is listed as drowning there, unfortunately, Corny. Well, we are 0 for 3 in difficulty 5. We come to Swazzle. Swazzle, would you like to attempt to break the curse, or will you go to a different difficulty? Uh, let's go back to a two. A two. <laughs> Things are still. I haven't gotten a. I haven't gotten a correct answer in a while. Things are still very close. Swezel and Corny at six, and Cindy at seven. Well, Swezel, it's perhaps fitting you got this one. The musical Mamma Mia features the music of what Swedish band? Oh, ABBA. That is the correct answer. Wow. Thank you. 
<laughs> you guys are complaining. Points. It's a two. You're supposed to get the two. <laughs> My sixth question was easier than the last three, so... <laughs> And don't complain, because when I was points. going through the questions, I realized and took out an ice hockey question, because I was like, oh shit, if I leave that in, everyone's going to think I'm rigging it for Swizzle. Oh, this one is fine. This one is fine. This one, every one of us should have known. <laughs> Cindy, we come to you next. What level would you like to answer? Uh, I'm missed. Do I have fives left? I don't remember yes. if I've done. Two yes, of you them. each Give have me one five. of them. Cindy, in 2018, what movie became the first sequel actress Meryl Streep appeared in? Mm. Oh, I have no idea. Um, good sequels are out there. <laughs> I'll just give you a list and you can pick which one you think it is from that. Yeah, okay. Yes, please. <laughs> just say you're uh, in the Norwegian word and it's probably right. <laughs> that's how we say it in Norway. Um, oh, okay. Then you, yes, um, then you had it. Uh, oh my god. Do, 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 do. Oh, uh, Mamma Mia 2, the musical. I. It is... By some grave coincidence that we managed to draw these questions back to back, the correct answer is Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. Um, there we go. I did not realize I put both of those questions in because when I physically wrote them out, I did the first one last night and that one this morning, and it did not click that they were both in until right now when you guys managed to pick them back to back. All right, well, Cindy jumping out to, to a little bit of a lead. Corny, what difficulty would you like? What are the points right now? Um, Swizzle has eight, Cindy has twelve, and you have six. Double digits. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll take a seven. We have to do at least one. Our first oh, seven. Boy. Corny, "Love Me Right" is a track on the extended Target exclusive CD version of what 2020 album? "Love Me Right." Love Me Right is a track on the extended Target exclusive CD version of what 2020 album? Chromatica. That is the correct answer. Yes. We don't even have Target. In here. Yeah, I was about no. to say. I was like, why? Well, that's, but that's like the least <laughs> important part of the question. <laughs> How am I supposed to get the album if it's cool? I was like, the only album I know has an extended Target something is Chromatica. So if... I was like, mm. If the answer had been any other, or if it, if instead of Target it had been Walmart or any other store, would that have at all changed your impressions of the question? No. Moving on. Lula peep. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Swizzle. Swizzle, you are now in last. Eight to know, twelve I'm to trailing. thirteen. What difficulty would you like? I'm trailing. Um, have we done a six? I don't believe so. No. Let's Corny has, six. but you have not. Let's do a six and flop. Swizzle. The harbor of what European capital is called the Golden Horn? The Golden Horn? The capital of which European country? Um... I'm going to say Portugal. It is not, not Portugal. Cindy, the harbor of what European capital is called the Golden Horn? Let's go with the like, coast <laughs> country. Uh... Seems like a fair That's... assumption. Uh-huh. Um, let's guess um, Greece. It is not. Corny, 
The harbor of what European capital is called the Golden Horn? I'm gonna go with Rome. No, the correct answer. Courtney, the only one to actually name a city, which the question oh. was asking for. I would have given it to you, but regardless, you did not get it right. The correct answer is Istanbul, not Constantinople. No, but it's Istanbul. Istanbul isn't the capital of Turkey. No, <gasps> it's Ankara. It's Ankara. Ooh, beach! Ooh. Take it up with Ooh. random Ooh. trivia <laughs> generator who made that question. See? Do I get a new Otherwise, question? I would have known. I mean. <laughs> I guess um, you're the weakest twink. <laughs> Again, did not make that one. That was random <laughs> trivia generator. Um, sure, you can have a new question. I'm going to go find it right now. All right, perfect. Thank you. Okay, I'll give you... I will give you a, a comparable question, Swezzle. How about that? One popped up that is a very comparable question. What is the capital of Honduras? Oh, well, fuck me. Um, I don't know, world... I don't know world capitals. Uh, Honduras. Is it Belmopan? It is not. Cindy, what is the Dang capital it. of Honduras? I have no idea, so I'm going to guess that Honduras is one of those places that also have the capital named Honduras. <laughs> it is not. Courtney, Damn. what is the capital of Honduras? I don't know. I'm going to say Santiago. <laughs> no, the correct answer is Tegucigalpa. Sure. Yeah, well, it's one of them. All right. Well, oh, let's God. let's move right <laughs> along from that question. Uh, Cindy, what difficulty would you like? I want a six as well. All right. Cindy, where am I? What type of animal is Napoleon in George Orwell's novel Animal Farm? Which is, worked... which is something I'm hoping they teach in respective curriculums of these three countries. They don't. But um, for some reason, I have like three guesses. Well, I need one. In my mind. I know. <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to say the others in case I'm wrong. <laughs> but like, is it like a goose or like a geese or whatever you to say <laughs> it is not a goose okay corny what type of animal is napoleon in george orwell's novel animal farm uh, uh, a horse it is not a horse sin uh, swizzle what type of animal is napoleon in george orwell's novel animal farm I've never heard of this. Um, I don't know. A dog? No, the correct answer is a pig. Yeah, that was a the... Pig. A pig. Not a pig. I thought dog, pig, or geese. Well, <laughs> that's another one for the... Addison asks a question about a thing that's not really a thing in any of your cultures. <laughs> question. We're up to two, so that's two shots all, for all of chat, remember. Um, Courtney, now with our last question of the main round of questions before specialists, what difficulty would you like? What, what are the points right now? Swizzle has 8, Cindy has 12, Courtney has 13. Oh, do I still have a 4? Yes. I'll do a 4 then. Courtney, in which winter sport could you see competitors performing... A double axle. I should know this. I'm a skating teacher. A double axle. Is it the... Um, oh, what's it called? We call it bobsledding. Like the sled that, through yeah, an ice. That, that is what it's called here too, but that is not correct. Oh. Swizzle, in which winter sport could you see competitors performing a double axle? Isn't it figure skating? That is the correct answer. Oh. Hey. Damn. Oh. I we, had, on that. we at least confidently knew that it was not ice hockey. <laughs> like, I'm gay enough to know that. But they still Close have they enough. still have skates, so it's still rigged for Swizzle. All right. Well, that is 
five questions apiece. Swezzle and Cindy are both at 12. Courtney's at 13. It's anybody's game, which means that it's going to be all the more important how you perform in your specialist subjects. Courtney, you are alphabetically up first, so we're going to begin with you. Oh, God. Courtney, you chose as your subject rock music and then have already gotten a rock music question wrong this episode. We'll see how this goes. Courtney, your first question is, Brian Jones, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Kurt Cobain, and Amy Winehouse all famously passed away at what age? Forty-nine. Cindy, so it seems like you know it. Can I say it? Yes, you can. Twenty-seven club. It is the twenty-seven club. 27. They all passed away at the age of twenty-seven. Corny Scottish rock duo, The Proclaimers, are primarily known for what nineteen eighty-eight chart-topping single? Uh, Five hundred miles. That is correct. And yes. <laughs> there you go. You didn't get none right. That's the real battle. And you're all in double digits. So like already, already leagues ahead of some people. <coughs> Bailey. Um, <laughs> Corny, by what name is Michael Lee a day better known in the world of music and at times acting? Michael Lee a day? Michael Lee a day. This is a rock question. Yes, this this person this this question would fall within rock music generally. I don't know, Jamie Foxx, but it's not right. It is not Jamie Foxx. It is to some a delicious dinner, to others a less delicious dinner. The correct answer is meatloaf. I did not know that meatloaf. All right, that is one point for Corny, but that is better than nothing. Cindy, mm -hmm. we're on to you next. America's Next Top Model. Yes. You, a, a particular fan? No. Uh, well, that, that's a good answer then, so if you get any <laughs> wrong, you're covered. Cindy, who was the first finalist ever eliminated from America's Next Top Model? The first finalist? Yes, so I'll clarify. In the first episode of the first season, they had 20. They cut that down to 10. Who in that first episode was eliminated from that 10? Mm. Well, actually, you're wrong, because there were eight, and then they brought on two girls in some episodes later, so they weren't in the semifinals, but uh, I don't remember <laughs> their I don't think name. That's, I don't think that's right! They did. They were eight. <laughs> Not kidding. Okay. Uh, well, I don't remember her name. Karen. Okay, two more contestants were added to the final cast following a separate audition. However, it was still within the same episode. So I still know. one person is eliminated from that ten. I know. Uh... So... I um this is the first easy question. I figured you would know it. <laughs> okay. I don't no, know. No, in fact probably the other two then are easier than this, but I just figured you would know who the first person ever to be eliminated was. Mm, no. I would like Her name was like something white. <laughs> <laughs> that is a safe assumption to make on America's next top model. You also no. just watched it. I know that. <laughs> Well. I know, but I don't remember. <laughs> the correct answer is Tessa. Yeah, the white girl. One of many. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy, Cycle 22 winner Niall DeMarco also went on to win season 22 of what other reality competition show? Um, Dancing with the Stars, maybe? That is the correct answer. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 
Cindy, what was the international destination for the final episodes of Cycle 11? Uh, 11 is... Oh, they went to, uh, like, Holland, Amsterdam. That is the correct answer. Yay. <laughs> All right, that is too correct for Cindy, netting him a cool five points. We'll come now to Swezel. Swezel, who has picked Eurovision... We'll see if these questions are at all reasonable difficulties. Who knows anymore at this point? Oh, Lord. Swezel, for the first time in Eurovision history, the competition ended in a tie in 1969. How many mm -hmm. countries tied for the win? Uh, four. Correct. It was originally going to be name them, so for shiggles, oh. can you name them? Uh, UK... <laughs> The Netherlands, Spain, and France. That's, that is also the correct answer. You get no additional points, but that is correct. Are you sure? Alexa. I'll have Maybe. to. I'll have to ask. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask the the scoring You're officials. You're all ahead, No, he's not. He was in. He was tied for last coming into this. What is the no. only country <laughs> to have participated oh. in Eurovision and never competed in a final? You mean like entering a withdrawal before the actual No, what is the only country that has at, at least once competed in Eurovision but has never made it mm -hmm. to the final? Uh, Andorra? That is correct. They competed five no times in the mid-2000s and never once did they qualify for the final. R.I.P. Andorra. That was the that was the replacement question for when you spoiled the Morocco one on your own stream. Oh. <laughs> oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Swezel, what is the highest scoring song in Eurovision history that did not win? That did not win? What is the highest oh, scoring song in Eurovision history that did not win? Um is it god what is it called if i know the country and the year but not the title i would um, count that can right. i guess if not <laughs> sure <laughs> is it i think it's bulgaria 2017 i mean um, I, I said i'd accept that cost of something but yeah. i can't remember what it's called you guys that is it correct is? yes it was All Bulgaria's right, 2017 right. entry by Christian Kostov, which do either of you remember what it's called? The correct answer is Beautiful what Mess. Oh, right. Which scored 615 points, meaning that not only is it the highest scoring song never to win, it is actually the second highest scoring song ever. It just had the misfortune of being in a year that a song scored higher than that. All right, so Swezel becomes the second person in all of history to answer all three of their special questions correct. Yay. Meaning that Swezel has 22, Cindy has 17, and Corny has 14. As we head now into the back half of the competition. Swezel, what difficulty would you like? Um, let's do a four. A four for Swezel. If I have those left. Yeah, this is where, now we begin getting into the, like, what do I have left? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> this is your last four, Swizzle. All right. All In right. classical music, the Italian composer and violinist Antonio Vivaldi wrote a set of concertos called The Four What? The four, I have no clue, seasons maybe? That is the correct answer. I knew this one. I will have you know. I'll take it. I'll I will have it. you know that question is one that I ripped from an actual episode of The Weakest Link. And I will tell you that question was in the first round. And I oh, said, shit. my God, they really, they really are like punishing here. Boy, All right. Game, Adam. Fuck off. <laughs> Cindy, what difficulty would you like? <laughs> Um, I I think I have a three left. 
I hope. And just like that, another correct answer for Cindy. <laughs> 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 this is your your last one, though. Yeah. Cindy, pop star Justin Bieber was first discovered on which website? YouTube, I hope. That is the correct answer. I have to note, though, that question was already written as of when we chatted last night, Cindy. Just oh, yeah. So it's, I jokingly said, Cindy, pick something you want me to put a question in about. He said YouTube, and I said no. And then when I was writing the questions out, I was like, fuck. <laughs> All right, Corny, what difficulty would you like? You're now six points behind Cindy and 12 behind Swezzle. Let's do a six. All right, Corny's second six. Corny, what country of the United Kingdom has the smallest population? Uh, Wales. That is incorrect. Swezzle, what country of the United Kingdom has the smallest population? Uh, Northern Ireland, then? That is correct. Right. That's a question that becomes a lot easier the later on you are in the order of wrong answers. Yeah. Do you have the numbers? No. Like how much smaller it is? God, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. You, th you th me, <laughs> okay. me, who when we all hopped, who when we all hopped on the call to make sure everything looked right, didn't turn my camera on because end of quote, I am not dressed. You thought I had enough pre-planning to have the numbers ready of how many, what the population of each of those countries well, is. I had high you expectations. Had the one for, <laughs> you had the one for the highest scoring song in Eurovision, so maybe. I did look that one up, but that's all. All right. Uh, who picked that? Corny did. Okay. We're now at 32 points for Swezzle, 20 points for Cindy, and 14 points for Corny. Still a very high-scoring game overall, I must say. Swezzle, we come to you next. Oh, it's my turn again? Oh, oh okay. We have we have uh, answers from Don't Do It Adam, who says 3.1 million people in Wales and 1.8 million in Northern Ireland. So quite a bit smaller. Oh, they're tiny. <laughs> 3.1 people, All right? Yes. That's that's what we um, have here. We have 3.1 people. And I think deep down we all know who the point one person is. What difficulty um, says? Sorry, that's on. where we were. At. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Um Let's do a 3. A 3 for I have one of those you left, right? Yes. It's your last one. You Swe should just go for the high one. <laughs> Swezzle. I, mean, I don't want to risk anything. <laughs> Swezzle, something which is post mortem occurs after what? Uh, after death. Correct. Right? All right. Swezzle up to 35. Could Swezzle be in contention to pass Hanilla for the highest score ever? We will see. Cindy, what difficulty would you like? Give me like a two. A two for Cindy. <laughs> this is still the only only game we've had when nobody has picked a one. Worth noting. Cindy, what the name of which Mexican dish literally translates to English as little donkey? This will be the moment we find out if any of you took Spanish at school. I had we Spanish did. for five years. <laughs> oh my I god, Cindy! How do you... <laughs> we did. That's the thing. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> um... A bio is horse, I think. <laughs> Um... <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll give you the points for knowing. <laughs> taco! It's not taco. Corny, the name of one... 
the name of what Mexican dish literally translates to English as little donkey. <clears throat> Uh, I would say it's two words then, but I don't know. <laughs> um... Uh, no, I don't know. Are you going to pass? Yeah. All right, Swizzle, the name of what Mexican dish literally translates to English as little donkey? I have no clue what a donkey, what that is in Spanish. Um, but I, is it taquito? It is not taquito, which Dang. would, taquito would mean it, little taco. Right, right. It's so it's not, small. Why, I, <laughs> <laughs> well, if a burro, if the Spanish word for donkey is burro, then the Spanish word for a little donkey would be oh. burrito. I literally thought of that, and I was like, it's not going to be it. But it's, but instead you passed instead of guessing. Well, also, this was a two. Of course this was a two. <laughs> Everyone else would know this. No. Even if you don't That's know Spanish, you know I that. Know those. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Courtney, we're up to you now. You trail Cindy by six points and Swizzle by probably too many to catch up. But it's 21 uh, if you were wondering. Seven, the highest I have. Corny, what is the largest island in the Indian Ocean? The Indian Ocean? Sri Lanka? It is not. Swizzle, what is the largest island in the Indian Ocean? Oh, of course it's not. Uh, Madagascar? That is the correct answer. All right. So it's up at 42 now. Uh. Double even Cindy at this point. Oh, no. All right. Well, you have three questions left to piece. Cordy at 14, Cindy at 20, Swizzle at 42. <laughs> Swizzle, what difficulty would you like? Mm. Swizzle, definitely what within range left? within range of the, of the all-time record, I would say. I believe is 53. Start picking up the sevens, Swizzle. <laughs> I don't know if I want to pick the sevens. We won't catch up. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one who had the... points in the last round. Do I still have the five left? Do I? Yes, you have one left. All right, let's do that. Swizzle, white and yellow Bermuda are varieties of what vegetable? Vegetable? <sighs> carrots? It is not carrots. Cindy, white and yellow Bermuda are varieties of what vegetable? No idea. What vegetable are yellow? <laughs> uh, cauliflower. It is not cauliflower. Corny, now to put you just one point behind Cindy, white and yellow Bermuda are varieties of what vegetable? Asparagus? No, the correct answer is onion. Onyo. Oh. oh. Onion, yes. Cindy, we're up to you next. Probably can't catch Swizzle, but could put some distance between you and Corny. What difficulty would you like? Okay, do I have a four left? I don't think so. Three, four, or five. You do. You have a four. I do. Give me the four then. All right, this is your last four. Cindy, an archipelago is a collection of what? Notes. <laughs> no, that is not correct. <laughs> Corny, an archipelago is a collection of what? Archipelago? Archipelago. Do you want the spelling? Uh, is it going to make a difference? No, probably not. <laughs> archipelago. Mm 
novels? That is not correct. Swezzle. Oh, wait. Did I? Oh, no, I went in right order there. Okay, Swezzle, an archipelago is a collection of what? Islands, right? Correct. How many fucking geography <laughs> questions are we I not? didn't realize how many geography questions there were until right now. I've never heard that word. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even know how to pronounce it properly. How do you pronounce it? Archipelago. I was oh, thinking it... it sounded like the one song from the Aristocats <laughs> when they're playing the <laughs> piano. I was like, oh. It's a collection of animated cats. Yes. All right, Corny, up to you now. You are behind by six and 32, respectively. The highest I have is a five right now, right? I don't know. I believe it's five. Yeah. Let's do a five. Oh, no. Okay, it's another geography question. Oh, oh God. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> What, what Danish peninsula lent its name to the largest naval battle of World War I? What Danish what? What Danish peninsula lent its name to the, the largest naval battle of World War I? <laughs> Let me get a translation for you so it's fair. In, in Dutch, it is that word, but backwards. Sh oh, okay. Shireland. Uh, I still don't know. <laughs> and keep in mind, Corny originally wanted World War, the Netherlands of World War Two, as his. This is World War One. Special category. And you're asking me what a peninsula is. <laughs> The only reason uh, I put this as a five is because I was like, they all live there. Of course they'll know this. No, no idea. Is that, are you passing? Yeah. Swezzle, what Danish peninsula lent its name to the largest naval battle of World War I? I'm not sure about the, uh, the English version of this name. Um, I know it's called Jutland in Swedish. That is so correct. J Jutland? That is, yes. Right. I wasn't sure because okay. I was like Jutland, but yes, your pronunciation sounds <laughs> that's the, uh, sounds much more that's correct. The only, that's the only peninsula I know in Denmark. So, <laughs> well, oops, I wrote too many geography questions. <laughs> oops. <laughs> oops, it's not my fault. It's not. Where's my fault. all the reality <laughs> TV and I don't know whatever corny would be good at questions. Uh, probably nothing. All right, two questions left apiece. Swezzle at 51, Cindy at 20, oh, no. Corny at 14, still. Swezzle, what, diffi still win. what difficulty would you like? Let's do a seven. Why not? All right. This is distinctly not a geography question. I Dang think it. at this point we have to have probably burnt through all of those. Swezzle, what was Walt Disney's first feature-length animated film? Uh, Fantasia? It is not Fantasia. Cindy, with, with Stitch looking over you, what was Walt Disney's first feature-length animated film? Snow White. That is the correct answer. I knew that one. That is, on accident, the second week in a row that Snow White has been an answer. Corny, uh, no, Swizzle picked that one. Cindy, what difficulty would you like? Uh, give me a seven as well. All right. Chrom chromatica. Chrom yes, <laughs> all, all of the sevens are just chromatica questions. Cindy, what Welsh singer is the only person to have performed the theme for more than one James Bond film. Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know. Let's go with like Florence from Florence and the Machine. It is not Florence Welch. Corny, you 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 sort of you need this a little bit to catch up. What Welsh singer is the only person to have performed the theme for more than one James Bond film? I don't even think I know a Welsh singer. I'm going to say Sam Smith. It is not. I. It may pain you to know that... Um, well, no, I'll save that for another time. Swezzle, what... Welsh singer is the only person to have performed the theme for more than one James Bond film. I have no clue. I don't think I know any Wel like Welsh singers either. Um, Bonnie Tyler. I it is no not. Clue. She is Welsh, in fact. Oh, she is. She All is right. Welsh oh. because she had that good Welsh sensibility when she was horribly sick at Eurovision, so just went, got drunk, and then Ooh. performed her. Bra I I genuinely like that song, and I'll be the one to say it. Um, yeah. No, the correct answer singing the themes of Goldfinger, Moonraker, and perhaps her best known Diamonds Are Forever, it is, of course, Dame Shirley Bassey. You who? Dame <laughs> Shirley! You don't know Dame Shirley? Who? No? Okay. Well, that's why it was a seven. Well, great for her. Great at a certain her. at a certain point in writing the questions, I got tired of writing new questions, and so just took some of the U.S. culture ones and moved them up to a much higher difficulty than they normally would have been. <laughs> not that that's really U.S. culture, but certainly not your your area of Europe. Uh, who picked that? Cindy did. Courtney, we're up to you now. What difficulty would you like? The highest that I have. Okay, let's see what that is. A four. Yay. It was surely bussy, though, really, Cindy? <laughs> Put it in chat like I wasn't going to see. <laughs> Corny, Sweet Brown became a viral internet sensation after making what remark about getting bronchitis in a fire? What remark? Sweet Brown became a viral internet sensation after making what remark about getting bronchitis in a fire? I don't know. All I can think of now is the video of the woman going, the building is on fire. Is that your answer? I don't know. Is that your answer? Yeah, that's my answer? That is not correct. Swezzle, <laughs> Sweet Brown became a viral internet sensation after making what remark about getting bronchitis in a fire? Is it nobody got time for that? I will accept the correct answer. Yes, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody. Right. Knew it. She got up to she got up to get her a cold pop. <laughs> she thought when she smelled. This, she thought she smelled barbecue. This was like. This was like early internet, so this might have been a little mm -hmm. bit before your time. When I was like three. <laughs> older than that, but certainly young. When she said, I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now we move on. It is your final question each. Swessel has 55, Cindy has 27, Corny has 14. So might need some, some generosity in picks from the other two. Oh, Swizzle, what difficulty <laughs> would you like? Knowing now that I will say, Swizzle, you have you have um, locked up having the highest score ever. Oh, really? Yes. What? Nilla had 53. You were at 55. What? All right, what's the highest I got left? Do I think I have you, have, you have a 7. All right, let's go 7. All right. Bro. Swizzle, what was the... F oh, sorry, who was the first Russian woman to win a Wimbledon singles title. The only one I know is Sharapova. That is the correct answer. Maria, Shara right. Maria Sharapova. How do you know these? All right. That's the only one I know. Do they have more <laughs> tennis players? 
Uh, probably. That, I don't know. You know one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real battle. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Cindy, what difficulty would you like for your final question? I would like a one, please. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> what a bitch. I'm not setting myself Cindy's up for failure. Cindy's here to play the game. Well, Cordy yes. would have had to also get that last one. I think I think at this point yeah, he was I, eliminated I no matter anymore. what. Cause, uh, all right. Uh, Cindy, the internet trend of Rick Rolling would direct victims to the music video for what Rick Astley song? Uh, is it called Never Gonna Give You Up? That is correct. <laughs> okay, thank God. And if I was smart, I would have had a sound drop here to play it, but I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Corny? It's mostly Give me the best question you have. You're mostly saving fit. You want my pick of which of the of which yeah. of the next questions. It doesn't matter anymore, so just give me the best one. Alright, well it also has to be one that you are able to pick, so we're looking at the low ones. Um we're looking at three and below. Okay, Cordy, I'm gonna give you this question. It's a one. But it is my favorite of the remaining questions. What is removed during the medical procedure of circumcision? The foreskin. That is the correct answer. The full circle moment with Adam's comment in chat. <laughs> the four seasons and the foreskin. Uh, <laughs> Well, at the end of 10 questions and specials categories, Corny has 15, Cindy has 28, Swizzle has 62, but with 15, Corny, that does mean that you are the weakest twink. You can finally eat dinner. Yeah, yeah. but you can't, but he can't leave, though, because then it fucks up the, the over uh, I won't leave. I won't leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, have to, we have to keep, because uh, otherwise the names are all off. We had it last week. But Courtney, still a very good performance. You got double digits, and that's Yay. that's the real battle. Chromatica. Chromatica, yes. <laughs> now this does mean that we are down to Swezel and Cindy in the final round, where we have you will have five questions apiece. Whichever one of you answers more correct wins. You do not get to answer your opponent's questions. It is simply a battle with yourself and each other. But Swezel, as the pretty significantly higher scoring person of Vincent, it was it was he got a pretty good score. It is up to you as to who will go first. Um Yeah, let's do Cindy first. You're welcome. Cindy, you are up first. Alright, Cindy and Swezel for the title of strongest twink. And to leave with your dignity intact, let's play the weakest twink. Cindy, other than the sun, what is the closest star to Earth? The North Star? The correct answer is Alpha Centauri. The North Star, I believe, is Polaris. Swezel, Love Never Dies was an incredibly unsuccessful sequel to what 1986 Andrew Lloyd Webber musical? I have no fucking clue. Would you like to take a guess? Um, I don't know any musicals, really. Um, I don't know. No clue. The correct answer is the Phantom of the Opera. Cindy, you knew that one? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Cindy, following an 80-year-old review ruining Citizen Kane's perfect score, what is now Rotten Tomatoes' highest rated movie? Or best movie or worst? No, I'm kidding. Um... Hi highest rated meaning the most reviews and they are all positive 100% fresh score 
something like Avengers Endgame or something, I'm going to cry, but I'm going to guess that. It is not. The correct answer is Paddington 2. Oh. <laughs> Poor Paddington. Paddington (laughs) 2. I feel so bad. (laughs) Swezzle, what layer of the earth comes between the crust and the outer core? The mantle? That is the correct answer. (gasps) Thank lord. Geography but space. (laughs) It's geography but (laughs) down. (laughs) It's like the only thing I remember from... I don't even know what you call it. What do you call that geography? Geology. But like, make it kindergarten, pretty much. I, That's that, like when we did those. It'd be science, then. Also, that the fact that you knew the English word for that, I'm <laughs> impressed. It's the, sa- it's the same in Swedish, mantel. <laughs> Ma- m- mantel. <laughs> I have no clue what oh, we should yeah. call it. <laughs> <laughs> all right cindy thing. cindy in one I, when, I don't want to i don't want to put the cart before the horse but I, I you could very possibly get this one what <sighs> british girl band members debut solo album was entitled schizophrenic <laughs> uh malnissi uh, oh, so close. It was Jerry Halliwell. Oh, damn. That one. That one. Yeah. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> Swezzle, what was the first film to win the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature? I don't watch movies. I don't know this stuff. Um, The first film to win... What was the first film to win the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature? I don't know. The Lion King? No, it was actually a relatively newly added category. And you all forget what's the cardinal rule of Weakest Twink. It's that every week, at some point, there is a question about Shrek! Huh? Oh. What? What are you really? doing That's in it, okay. my swamp? Because, as but. always, every single week, things up in the weakest twink are getting shrek That implies that we actually watched this. No, I'm kidding. Have you... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dare you. <laughs> well, maybe you learned your lesson now. Every week there's a question about Shrek. Okay? And then you didn't get it right because... So, there you go. There's a lesson to anyone out here. If you've made it through the entire thing, there's not been a question about Shrek. Think to yourself, maybe one of the answers is Shrek. Okay, be ready. Learn something from this. (laughs) Just answer Shrek on every question. Cindy, how many points is a bullseye worth in darts? Is it 50? The correct answer is 25. Isn't that the green one? <gasps> yeah, no. The isn't green in the bullseye and the red part is 50? Did I ask a bad should question? Be. I think yeah, it is. It should be 50 in the middle. <laughs> there are two circles in the bullseye. 20. You have the outer yeah. circle and the inner circle. The outer circle is 25. Yeah. How many points? 20 to beat is... in the middle. And your face. <laughs> the, oh no. <laughs> so I, it depends how much of an asshole I want to be. Is uh, it different? Types I will. Of I dark? will. Ex- um. The the inner circle oh, is you have the... the inner circle is off is considered generally to be the double bull, but I will give that to you, Cindy, because you. that was. That was a poor. That was a poor question. I just looked up how many points is a bullseye worth in darts, and the literal thing that pops up says twenty-five. So I will give that to Cindy. Swezzle, the name of what disease comes from medieval Italian, meaning bad air? Uh, malaria. That is the correct answer. All right. Like you, your master category, even though you got all right, should be like health. <laughs> you answered all the health <laughs> questions. Should right I go through. into health instead? 
<laughs> laxatives, <Yeah>. malaria. Yeah. <laughs> you had All one right. more. I don't remember. All right. Did Cindy. I? Cindy. Yes. The musical. Okay, we're off to a good start. The musical Hades Town is one of many works based on the tragic tale of what two Greek figures? Is it dumb to assume Hades is part of it? <laughs> I don't know. You gotta ask yourself that. Uh, let's say like Hercules and Hades. Cindy. Hercules, Hercules! Cindy, the correct answer is Orpheus and Eurydice, which means, Swezzle, you are today's strongest twink. Yay! And you go away, your dignity intact, the winner, a, a victor. Cindy, a lovely performance, a great score, but you simply just go away.